need to reproduce this curvature on the inside of the housing. I find the best way to do this is to use a 5 inch grinding wheel which matches the required curvature. I find the best way to do this is to offer up the housing to the grinding wheel and then test the housing on the body of the turbine. Basically repeat this procedure until you get a good fit. Something to consider when you're making this curvature is that it all has to line up so that when you add the air injector, the stem of the air injector will meet this hole. In order to gauge how you're getting on with that, fit the air injector, take the housing, put it on the back, fit the air injector in reverse, and then line up see that line up the housing against the turbine body. I don't know if you can quite see but it's very nearly there. There's a very slight discrepancy between the two, which means I now have to shave a little more off the housing. It's also worth noting that once the housing fits correctly, the air injector won't fit properly unless the bottom edge is relieved. It's easy to do this. Simply take a light cut off it on the grinder. Now the injector will fit properly. When you're grinding down this surface, you should note that if you haven't ground it far enough, the housing won't fit onto the turbine body. Now that we've achieved a decent fit, we need to put an M6 thread here, drill the air inlet hole and drill the air outlet holes. I'm going to thread the injector spindle M6, then I'm going to turn it over, centre drill and then step drill to 11 millimetres and finally I'm going to drill it out to 13 millimetres to avoid this feature here. Once this um, air, air fixture is screwed all the way in it'll interfere with the other end of the injector so if I just bore it out a bit further than 11 it'll clear that. Right, well, that didn't work. I sheared the end of it off. Um, I think tapping, <laughs> ta sorry, uh, cutting a thread on M6, uh, an M6 thread on acrylic this thin is probably not a good idea. So I'm going to face this off, centre drill it, drill it five millimetres, tap it M6, but only that far in. And then I'm going to get a piece of M6 threaded rod and screw it into the hole. Then I'll turn it over and drill it just up to before where I've put in the threaded rod.
Now that you've made your air injector, you'll want to mark it out to drill the exit holes for the air. Fit it to the turbine. And mark off points where the discs begin and end. Transfer those marks to the flattened face. Now, I'm probably going to start with four 3mm holes, but that's part of the experimentation process. You could uh, drill a series of small holes corresponding with the gaps in the discs. You could cut a slot. See, so this is all part of the, the experimentation. Um, obviously, you're not stuck with just this one air injector. You could make any number and experiment with different hole patterns. In the next video, I'll discuss fitting all the parts together.